Hi, my name is Peter and uh, I want to show you something about the Mandela dotting uh, paint art, whatever you like to call it really. It is enjoyable and it's very cheap to do. We'll be starting the video off showing you some of the tools that you need and some of them that maybe you don't need. You can do what you like with this. It isn't that important. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I do everything more or less on the cheap. So if you could understand that, then you, if you make a failure, it doesn't matter. You can throw it away and start all over again. We'll go through the process of showing you how I put it down on paper, then transfer it to the canvas and finally put the dots on. But I'm not going to be one of those videos that takes an hour to run through. Um, I don't believe if you want to see how to put the dots on a piece of paper, I suggest you have a look at some of the many, many, many videos that are up on YouTube at this point in time. This is not one of those. I'm just showcasing how I started and where I'm up to with my art. I've been doing it for about a month. So whatever you see on here, I've copied um, other people's ways of putting dots on and just created my own. Uh, my paintings are my own. I don't care if anybody copies them or redoes the design, look forward to seeing them. You never know. Somebody certainly can do it better than I can. It's a lot of fun, as I hope you will find out. I'll see you shortly. Well, as you can see, they're just brief tools. There's nothing really special there, though you can buy these anywhere or make them yourself if you need to. I made those myself and uh, that was just out of a piece of 12 millimeter doweling and an electric drill bought those at Spotlight uh, very cheap but very useful. These are some of the paints that I use which are very handy and also I use the Jagard um, paints as well Lumiere very very good indeed. Charcoal pencils very important to be able to clean them up after you have done the painting and just to support the canvas while you are using the compass a piece of wood you need a couple of protectors maybe and you could do with just one and some baby wipes to help the clean up along with of course some little q-tips or cotton buds whatever you like to call them I start off usually by making a paper uh, drawing and then transfer that to the actual board and then once it's on the board or whatever that is the finished article. So really it's quite simple and what I think I should do is instead of rabbiting on all the time is I'll show you a lot of what the art that I've made is and where it's come from and I hope you enjoy it.
Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. You have not seen everything that I did. I did quite a few small ones on drink coasters and a uh, little 3x3 three three or 100x100mm 100 100 squares of canvas. I do buy the cheap white canvas uh, from the $2 shops and so on, which is very good usually and then I paint it black with gesso and uh, wait for it to dry and then away you go. Just enjoy it and I think it is a little bit like meditation doing that dot after dot after dot. Some people say oh don't you get bored? No I don't. I enjoy doing it, I enjoy the thought process of what I'm going to do next. Sometimes I don't get it right and sometimes I do. I'm painting for profit. In other words, I'm selling what you have seen. Uh, I am actually selling it on, on a website called TradeMe which is here in New Zealand and uh, I say for profit. That's not quite true. Uh, you cannot make a profit, well, unless you're very good. You can't make a profit out of it, particularly by the time you look at the cost of the paints, the, the actual uh, canvas, of course, and then your time. Your time, I might spend 20, 30 hours doing something. You cannot recover the money for that. It is just not there. Some of those paintings that you've seen are up for sale on Trade Me for around the $20, $25. If I spent $20 on a canvas, well, it might be up in the 30s or 40s, but nothing massive. I'm not that good, but I enjoy doing it. And if it pays the way for me to be able to buy another canvas well then why not indeed like a lot of people i'm on the pension and uh, <laughs> i've been on the pension for a few years now and i enjoy just doing things like this it keeps your mind very very active and i hope it does to you too so for now i'll say goodbye and thank you for watching bye <laughs>